Hello guys. So my um, hackathon project today is about adding a feature to a tool called uh, Duplicity. Duplicity is a tool to help us to you know to backup folders to um, some location on some back end. A back end it could be Amazon S3, cloud file, um, local file on disk, uh, a file a folder on a different computer through. Uh, Async, uh, SCP, thing like that. The problem with duplicity right now is they doesn't have the namespace ability. It means that if I try to back up true front end folder and I put them to the same location on the back end, um, they would think the second one is the incremental backup of the first one. Okay, so I will demo it right here. I try to back up my C parser folder to slash TMP on the same computer. So you can see first of all we have three file we have three file on the TMP uh, duplicity full right so if I do the same backup but up a different folder to the same location It will see the second one is the incremental backup of the first one. You see right here, incremental, incremental. Um, that would be okay if it actually the incremental of the first backup. But if I want, you know, to keep those two files in separate, you know, set of backup, have them parallel with the other. The only option I have is I have to set to you know specify a different back end location in some scenario we can do it but you know sometimes we could we could not avoid that have to review the same um, uh, back end location like if we want to back up on the user account to one bucket you know um, sort you know group them by the domain name uh, this this current you know option provide by uh, duplicity is not sufficient enough so uh, I add a feature in here I call it uh, file prefix file prefix um, first of all I want to make the first backup of Sackwick and I don't want it you know interfere with the other backup I give it you know some prefix like Sackwick prefix like look right now okay so the first time I back it up, it will be like a full backup. Okay, I have full set up, you know, Sackwick duplicity full backup right here. Now I want to back up a different folder, but you know, to uh, the same back end location. Like C parser. Because you know it see no file completely new, it, it it will be a full backup. Okay, you see, I have two separate set of you know um, backup for Sackwit folder and C parser. Even though I put them into the same location on the back end, so um, let's figure out if I I try to do the incremental backup of this one. Wonder what it. We do. Yeah, we had an incremental of this, right? So, if I want to back up the Sackwick the second time, we will have another set of you know uh, incremental for the Sackwick set, and it do not interfere with any you know of other set of backup data before it. Mm, yes, we have the incremental backup for duplicity. So with this option, mm, you know, add into duplicity, it gave us a lot of flexibility to do, you know, a lot of crazy thing that we could think up with it. So thank you guys. That's my hackathon project. Thank you.